Next is number 10 on your list. This is Viburnum Berkwoodii. This is one of my favorites. So Viburnum Carlesii and Viburnum Berkwoodii have some of the most intoxicating fragrance uh, that, that I have ever smelled. So this spicy, super fragrant um, uh, floral fragrance is really uh, the reason to plant these plants in your garden. Viburnum Berkwoodii also has these really nice glossy leaves, leaves that are sparsely toothed and sort of variable in the nature. They tend to have a bit of a, 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 a revolute nature. So the margins tend to roll over just a little bit, but not, uh, I wouldn't call that the most distinct identification feature. Uh, all viburnum that I'm aware of have oppositely arranged leaves. So if you have something that's alternate, it's likely not viburnum. Another common trait in viburnum is that they tend to have naked buds. So when we talk about maples and many other plants are beaches and things like that they have these very distinct imbricate uh, buds so where the bud scales overlap one another and to protect the uh, the structures inside but viburnums they actually just have uh, naked buds where uh, the structures themselves kind of fold around so they don't have bud scales uh, per se viburnum berkwoodii has a lot of pubescence associated with it so on the stems and and the buds and and all kinds of uh, plant structures it has this rusty tomentose uh, pubescence that does come off and if you look at the underside of the leaves it also has a sort of a, a gray tan uh, uh, pubescence that also can be rubbed off <coughs> the flowers are in uh, spring they are uh, slightly pink in bud and open to a pure white and as i indicated before very heady in flora or, uh, fragrance in this uh, species it's one that uh, may be a little bit tough to find in production. It is, it is a challenge in production. It, it's uh, somewhat challenging for asexual or, or rooting production or um, uh, rootability is fairly low. And it also just uh, seems to be a poor performer in container production. But uh, we're always trying to improve those things. And, uh, but it, it really, the fragrance is worth uh, growing this plant. So that's Viburnum berkwoodii.